is we're going to be using this FOIL acronym, which refers to the first, outer, inner, and last, to factor a trinomial, meaning three terms, into two binomials, meaning two groups of two terms. So let's take a look at this first example here. So the way I use the FOIL method in reverse, sometimes it's referred to, is I say, how do I get the first term x squared? Well, the only way to get x squared, really, in this case, is uh, to have x times x. So x times x, those are the first terms okay, of each of the binomials. That multiplies to give you the first term, x squared. Then what I do is I jump over here to the last term, okay, the L stands for last. I say, how do I get negative 12? Well, I can either do 1 and 12, 2 and 6, 3 and 4, or I could change the order, okay? I know this is negative 12, so it means one of these has to be positive, one has to be negative, because a positive times a negative is a negative, okay? Or I could switch them. But what I'm checking now is that the outer and the inner terms, okay, add up to negative x, the middle term. So I'll just show you some examples. Say it's minus six and plus two. See, that gives you negative six x and positive two x, that's negative four x. We wanna get negative one x, so see how it doesn't match. So let's try a different combination. How about x minus three and x plus four? Okay, that still gives us negative 12, the last terms, okay, multiplied together, but negative three x and negative, I'm sorry, positive four x adds up to one x, but this is negative one x. So, okay, well, let's see, let's change the signs. We've got the right number, the right coefficient, but the opposite sign. So let's make this x plus three now, and x minus four. And now you can see by foiling, that gives you x squared, the first term, negative 12, the last term. And if you check inside, the ones towards the middle, three x, outside, negative four x, that adds up to negative one x, so you know you factored it correctly. Let's go to another example. 3x squared plus 10x minus 8. Okay, so to get 3x squared, okay, the first term here, we've, we're have we going to use 3x and 1x, okay? So that gives you first times first, first term, 3x squared. Then we jump over to the last term, negative 8. Well, we could do negative 4 times positive 2, or we could do positive 4 times negative 2, or 8 times negative 1, and you know you go through the different combinations. But what we're checking is that the inner product, the ones towards the inside, and the outer product add up to 10x. So let's see, do they? Negative 4x, positive 6x, that's 2x, we want 10x. Hmm, let's see if we can try another combination. So you can see why they call it the guess and check method sometimes, because you're just you know, trying and checking but as you do it, you'll start to know which ones are gonna work out a little bit easier, okay? You'll go see what definitely is not gonna work and you can try the ones that you think might work and you can narrow it down a little bit faster in your mind as you do this. So it looks like here, we wanna get a positive 10x. So it means that when we have a positive number and a negative number, we want the larger one to be positive, okay? So let's see, maybe if we go like this, positive four, that gives you 12x, negative two, that gives you negative two x, that adds up to 10x, okay, so we factored it. So again, you can change the order, you could change the signs, okay, you could try a different combination, but that's how